Hi, everyone. So, yeah, over the last century, capitalism produced outstanding material um, growth and proved to be the most effective at delivering a better future. Yet today, most of us feel the growing urgency to of our unprecedented, unprecedented systemic crisis, ecology disasters, widening social inequalities, and peak everything. Our generation will uh, have to We'll have to deal with a bug society system, production system that still think and act on the idea that an, an infinite material growth is uh, possible in uh, a closed ecosystem. Starting today, we have uh, big 2050 goals to reach, moving human race to a one earth ecological footprint to keep control of our destiny. So basically, the game we play at Systemic is uh, more or less building a sustainable technology stack or platforms that will be used in every product of uh, our ecosystem. But to increase our impact, we must focus on architectural scope, on uh, mobility, energy, food, and a housing solution, which basically account for 80% of anyone's lifestyle and share a reasonable amount of building blocks. So. Yeah, a, a good way to introduce the engineering perspective is to think of every product we build as uh, a, robotic, a robotic system. So pretty much they all have in common a silicon brain using sensor and actuator moving a structural frame or skeleton within a shell. Um, it's a long talk on its own, but for today just assume that uh, structural and precision mechanical parts out of metal, plastic and composite combined with high-end battery cells, switch mode power supplies, and system on chips fit the bill. Finally, no purpose for manufacturing would actually work without final user benefits. So first and foremost, we at Systemic are the first time user of this solution. We dog food basically our product and understand deeply the product they are sold. Uh, it's also in our interest to help any user fix, upgrade, and, or customize his product because it makes our open hardware platform better. And in return, they get true product ownership with uh, incredible lifetime expectancy. Then the question to ask is how actually instantiate this big vision into reality? So first, the com first to be competitive, we must uh, leverage existing high volume manufacturing infrastructure like China, India, or Eastern Europe, which are really cheap. And then we build on uh, competitive advantages for distributed lo and local manufacturing, like lower logistic costs, assembly labor, and research and development costs. So uh, an interesting example is uh, carb carbon fiber parts, uh, which provide uh, superior mechanical performances, but are very expensive because of uh, their mostly because of their labor-intensive nature that cannot uh, yet be properly automated. Uh, next, our architectural religion is th that we share with uh, many advanced industries is the modular platform. So it's, it's basically a proven way to shorten iteration development time and improve uh, overall product quality. Then we add uh, radical openness to foster innovation and a touch for crazy minimalism that reduce cost and improve uh, perceived uh, quality. Um, yeah, of, of course, none of this would be possible without huge amount of uh, engineering brain juice, as we call it, uh, combined with uh, powerful tool chain. So um, yeah, the, the point of this talk is not uh, to make you a space engineer, but yeah, if, if that's yours, uh, actually you, you can have a, a look at our toolchain at uh, toolchain.systemic.cc. And yeah, there you will be able to, to try it at least. And if you happen to like it or if you already use it, please shoot us a mail at uh, team.systemic.cc. Because yeah, we, we always uh, welcome uh, more brain power. Uh, yeah, sorry, that, that's part of the team. Um, okay, finally, our user, the maker, uh, will participate in uh, Do It Together assembly workshops uh, organized in local fab labs, maker spaces, and hacker space. Uh, yeah, we really want to help these types of uh, organization reach high economical impact by leveraging high end product manufacturing. Because, yeah, Today, uh, they really have to upgrade their entry-level pro 
entry-level prototyping equipment, like yeah, the 3D printer that everyone knows but actually is not really useful for real uh, manufacturing. And upgrade it with uh, industrial grade uh, machine and slowly build uh, sustainable local micro factories. So we call this the distributed infrastructure, the Internet of Manufacturing, and like the Internet for Knowledge, it has much more impact when it's shared. So um, everything we do and is they are basically public and uh, copy left. So our design intents, calculation node, CAD files, embedded code, manufacturing drawings, tooling, CNC, whatever. So everything is uh, carefully documented on our development platform at uh, systemic.cc. So yeah, we saw previously that modular platform are really key for system architects. So uh, here is a synoptic of one of our first platform for motion control. Yeah, is it? Yeah, that motion control. Uh, it has basically three mod, uh, sorry. The main modules are basically a yeah, three phase inverter for um, BLDC uh, motor drive and a digital signal uh, processor host. And yeah, it's main use case. Uh, obviously it's uh, for us right now, ele an electric power train controller and uh, it will be also a, a servo motor drive for CNC machines. Uh, the second platform will be we've been uh, will release is the it's, it's called the Energy Pack. Um, so the main modules here are, are obviously the battery cells and a bidirectional uh, charger. And for us, the obvious use case is energy storage for mobility. But uh, yeah, the recent power wall. Uh, that uh, Tesla show, showed recently proved that the house and utility energy market are, have already relevant use case for it. And finally, we are also developing uh, rolling chassis. So here is our first, uh, that was a free wheel tilting chassis. Uh, but, but we are also working on a two wheels platform and hope to start, yeah, sorry and hope to start um, on a more conventional free wheels later. And actually a very good example right now is the open source vehicle project, which is kind of good and even upgraded with the Tabby evolution recently. Uh, yeah, everyone can, yeah, apparently it should be okay. Everyone, everyone can hear me. So um, yeah, as I said, engineers started development uh, with uh, Velocar and uh, ultralight and electric microcar for modern urban urbans, basically designed to be uh, yeah, practical with uh, so the removable energy pack that you can see in green, 100 kilometers of autonomy range and a big trunk. Uh, it's also yeah fun to drive because. It tilts in turns and have very good uh, acceleration, uh, roughly from zero to 50 kilometers in five seconds, which is yeah better than most of uh, cars nowadays. Um, it has safety uh, with a survival shell, disc brakes. Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is not working. Uh, Okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, safe, uh, sorry, so where was I? Yeah, disc brake, four point safety harness, whatever, yeah, comfort. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Okay, whatever. Okay, so yeah, uh, health with an integrated bike drive and to, yeah, travel further, but mostly to stay in shape and do your sports session while you go to work. And of course, it's aimed to be ecologic with 90% uh, efficiency electric motor. And actually, most important is the feather weight of uh, only 80 kilo. And by the end of the year, we hope to finally release our first product uh, that you can actually, yeah, it's, it's a very early uh, rendering, but uh, it's called the uh, Biker and it is an ultra like electric uh, motorcycle that focuses on uh, fun and high tech power train. Um, yeah, okay. And we also laid the foundation of uh, UZ Box, uh, so an industrial grade 5 axis CNC machine for sub 
extractive and additive manufacturing, which we hope will help uh, open low cost and high performance distributed manufacturing. And in the following years, we'll uh, shift our focus to energy storage and production with uh, high efficiency, so uh, it's, it's a long talk, but combining photovoltaic with uh, thermal cogeneration panels for plus uh, low, co low cost battery stor storage that is finally coming. And next we hope to tackle the local distributed food production with uh, automated and controlled environment with high density multi-layer uh, food production. And finally, we hope to integrate everything into sustainable hou housing cell networks, but yeah, it's very too early to start this talk today. So in conclusion, if you fit any of our actual product use case, don't hesitate to subscribe to uh, kit.biker.cc or kit.velocar.cc or yeah, kit.uzbox2cc is, is very too early, but yeah. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll give you priority warning as soon as we are ready for um, a stable version, like a long-term support version, and we'll and do the crowdfunding launch for it. And of course, if you can think that you can help us in any way, please come and let's have a chat because our future has a better chance with more energy and time involved uh, in the right direction. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yano. Yeah,